combine the land you see behind me with a local farm credit loan, an offshoot of the USDA, what does that mean? So the US Department of Agriculture makes it pretty easy for Americans to buy land zoned ag. Yes, that means you have to have some type of agricultural plan with what you wanna do with the land. They're not just gonna give it to you to then open a strip club. I am specifically using an offshoot branch of the USDA. So the one that I'm using is relevant only to the Northeast, but there's different regional offices like it. The USDA uh, will give you $0 down loans based on your income. So if you're somebody that is qualified in the low income bracket and you're watching this and you're like, this could never be for me, I honestly encourage you to go check out their website and just mull around and like just review their programs because you honestly might be surprised. With the USDA website directly, sometimes you have to provide a business plan. The local farm credit institution that I am using did not require a business plan, but they did require 25% down. Are you with me? Basically what I'm saying is there are so many different ways, different institutions through the USDA to get a loan that works for you and your unique financial situation for farmland. If you have been wanting to make this a reality for yourself and you just feel like it's impossible based on wherever you are in life, I'm just here to tell you it's not because up until two months ago, I had no idea you could even get a loan for land. I thought you had to always buy land in all cash. So I didn't even think that I could get this land. Sorry, I just got chased by a bumblebee. It was a pretty cute chase though. It was a cute little bumblebee. I'm also standing here recording these videos with like a main road and people staring at me coming by in their cars. <laughs> Basically what I'm saying is do not give up check all local farm credit programs. There are so many in this country. There's so much undeveloped farmland. The government, believe it or not, does want you to develop farmland. They do want you to grow food. Do not mistake that for me being a fan of the government. I am not. I just keep saying, if you can't beat them, use them. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here. And by getting a loan for 75% of the value of this property that freed up my capital that I can now use to buy greenhouses, grow towers, all the things that I wanna put on this land so it can be a functioning farm quickly. And without investors, because I do not work well with other people telling me what to do. If you do, there's even options where you can get in on communal farm purchasing together with other people. There's groups of people buying stuff. There's people that will invest in you. There are so many different ways to own farmland in this country. So do not be discouraged because if I can do it, I am a 30 year old female who has never farmed a day in my life and I am attempting to farm. So if I can do it, you can do it. I think there's a lot of pretentiousness surrounding so many things that shouldn't be there today. So I'm here to document it, write a book about it. I have a newsletter about it, House of Green, linked in bio, highly recommend following along because I disclose all of this stuff for free in it all the time. And I used to be a freelance writer, so hopefully it's pretty decent writing. My friend's here with me and she's watching me from my Jeep make videos. <laughs> I'm getting scared. Okay, bye. <laughs>